welcome to the tutorial for the happy days backpack pattern this is a brilliant little backpack um, we've got a flap opening a drawstring closure so you'll learn how to do channels for drawstring it's got two little pockets in the front for your stuff and your straps on the back now this pattern is really versatile it's brilliant as it is but you could also add adjustable straps to this, which I will do a tutorial on separately. You could fit magnetic closures on here. You could do zip pockets. You could do internal pockets as to what you want. So it's one of those patterns, like all of the Happy Days ones, where you've got the basic pattern, which is brilliant on its own, but you can adapt it in so many ways to suit yourself. You could also make uh, the pattern smaller. So when you print it out, print it out on a uh, smaller percentage um, so that the, the bag pattern is smaller. I would have said this is more of an adult size. So you could do it smaller for a child. It literally has got so many different options to it. So let's get started. So this pattern has lots of pieces to it. So I'm going to walk you through um, which pieces you need to cut out and which templates to use. So the first template you're going to take is your large rectangle. OK, you need to make sure that the long edge is this way up and the shorter edge is along the bottom and top. This is particularly important if you've got um, directional fabric because you need to make sure your fabric's going in the right way. OK, so mine is template one, two, three and four. Now, I have the master copy of this pattern because Happy Days has sent it to me um, prior, obviously, to releasing it. So your numbers may be different. So just be aware of that and just take in just try and look at the picture of it rather than the actual pattern number. It might be the same, but they might not be. So it should make this large rectangle, okay? And from this, you will need to cut a front and a back piece in your main fabric. Okay, so you should have, I've got sticky notes on everything to remind me what to say to you. So you should have two pieces, a front and a back in the main. And then you should also have two lining pieces now i've used um, cotton canvas for my outside and my lining i had um, a duvet or a fitted sheet or something and it was really thin so i've actually interfaced mine because i wanted mine to have a bit more structure but it's entirely up to you whether you do that or not okay so i've got two of my main so for the front and the back of the back of the backpack and two of the lining for the front and back of the backpack so those are the first bits you need the next bit you're going to need is you're going to need the side pieces. Now, mine's template five and six. But if I lay this other template next to it, hopefully you can see it's the same size. So you know that it's the right one if it's the same size as your main part. OK, so it should be the same size right the way down. So mine's called number five and six. Yours might be a different number, but hopefully it's that one. So it makes it easier for you. So we need to cut out two, again, two for the side pieces. And two of the lining pieces. And I've interfaced mine again. So just put those to one side. And then... Mine says template nine and ten. But it might be different on yours again. But if it is, you are now cutting out the bottom of the bag. As you can see, it's the same width as the bottom. So you can actually put your templates out and make sure. I zoom out slightly. Right. Make sure that it actually makes the bag. Try and lift it up so you can see a bit better. Can you see? It makes the actual shape of the bag. So the other side piece will go down there. So this is my template 9 and 10, 10 for this. Um, but just check yours. So for this bit, the bottom of the bag, you need one piece of your outer fabric, one piece of lining fabric. And then you also will need... Mine's called template 17. Yours might be something different. My, it's kind of rectangular. I don't think that's quite square. But anyway, this is the flap piece. So this is the flap that goes over the top, the top of the bag like so. 
Now I've cut out one in my outer and I've decided to use a coordinating fabric for this part and one in my lining fabric as well. So that's for the flap. You also need to cut out, oh, let me just grab it, your pocket fabric. Now mine's template seven and eight for this. Again, yours might be something completely different. So do check before you cut it out. Okay, so I've got one piece in my main fabric and then I'm gonna take my pocket template and I want some of my um, lining fabric to show along the top of here. So a bit like when we do the Debbie tote or something. So I have made my second piece of my pocket fabric an inch um, wider or longer that way. Anyway, that way. <laughs> so that when it joins together, obviously it's not going to look like this because it's all going to be sewn together. But when it's joined together, I'm going to see that flash okay, of my lining along the top of my pocket, which is what I want. So I've cut one out in the normal size of the pocket, like so. And then I added an inch to the top and to make my lining fabric. Now, I didn't have quite enough, so I've joined mine together, but you won't see that because it's going to be underneath. Uh, but hopefully you'll have enough of your fabric. So you should have one piece of your pocket fabric, normal size, one piece an inch wider if you want that effect. If you don't, you don't have to do that, obviously. Um, the next piece that you're going to need is pattern piece 13, 14, 15, 16. That's what mine says. It's basically the long strip. And this is for the drawstring channel. OK, so I've got one long piece here. Now, I, again, I didn't have enough fabric, so I've joined two pieces together. Just that I had fat quarters in this colour. I didn't have um, it in like half a metre or anything. So that's why I've done that. But it's perfectly fine. You can um, join fabric together for that. So that's that part. You're also going to need some webbing. So I've got a, um, like a nylon webbing because we want it to be fairly stiff. Um, and I've got, I've got two meters of this and then I need, you only actually need to use a one and a half meters of that, by the way, I've just got two meters. Sorry, should have made that clear. And then I need two meters of the cord though. Um, and I've got five mil cord. Um, if you notice it does fray on the ends. So what I do to make it easier to get through is I put, um, some sellotape, like really twist it round and put it onto the end so it makes it easier to get through this little thing, which is what you also need, this little toggle, okay? This is what you're gonna put your drawstring through. Um, I got this off Amazon, but you can get it off eBay. Um, lots of other independent retailers will sell them. Um, I'm just think I think I, go, I put in drawstring toggle or something like that and it came up, or hoodie toggle or something and it came up. Anyway, just make sure that your cord can fit through okay mine are both five mil but because i put this sellotape on i can easily pull it through all right so you need um one of these little toggles one and a half meters of cord and then lastly you need um some eyelets grommets or whatever you call them um i'll just get one out for you to show you they're eluding me okay these little things here Again, mine are five mil. Check that your cord can go through it, like so. You, if you don't have these, you can um, make buttonholes. So don't panic if you haven't got these little eyelets. And um, you can pick up these little packs with all different colours in. Fairly cheap. They are really handy um, for things. But, you know, if you haven't got any, you can easily make some buttonholes instead. So that's all the bits we need to make our backpack. So let's get on with making our bag. So we're going to start with one of our um, main panel pieces for the backpack. So these are the front and back pieces. So you need one of these. And remember that the um, longer length is vertical. The shorter length is horizontal. If you've got directional fabric, this will be obvious. But if you've got plain, it's always worth a check. So we're going to lay our fabric down pretty side facing up and then we're going to take our bottom panel piece so it should be the same width as this 
and we're going to flip it and turn it up so, so that the pretty side of our lining is touching the pretty side of our lining if you haven't interfaced it or if you've got plain lining it doesn't matter if they're you know if, if it looks the same both ways but if you have got um pattern fabric or you've interfaced you'll need to make sure that the pretty side is touching the pretty side i'm just going to clip along this bottom edge here like so and then we're going to sew using a quarter inch seam allowance right the way along the bottom edge of this um piece of fabric so i've sewn along this bottom edge here with a quarter inch seam allowance and i'm going to take my other piece of lining fabric so this one of these is the front one the back it doesn't really matter at this stage which is which um and i'm going to attach it to this bottom piece as well so i'm going to lay my piece of fabric sorry again pretty side facing up i'm going to take the piece i've just sewn and flip it over because i want this edge now so that's my sewn edge and i'm going to line it up with the bottom so pretty side touching pretty side again i'm going to line it up with the bottom here edge of this and then we're going to give put some clips in it like so and then you can see once we've sewn it we'll have sewn the bottom onto our bag so we're going to take it to the sewing machine again and sew with a quarter inch seam allowance along this bottom edge so i'm back from sewing on this bottom edge and the next piece we're going to take is our side panels so the next piece is we need both of our side panels okay so i'm just going to open this up so you can see that i've got the front and back of my bag and this bottom um, piece i'm going to take one of my side pieces now again if you've got directional fabric you need to make sure that it's going to come out the right way okay so if you're putting it on this way your directional fabric should look like it's coming down that way and if you're putting this side on when you flip it like that your directional fabric should look like it's coming down this way all right it should be quite obvious when you've got it um, on there and you will see when i do the main fabric what i mean so what we're going to do is where this bottom piece is here we are going to sew this side piece to it now i want to make sure that i only sew within my seam now the reason i do this is because and i don't sew right along is because when you're sewing the sides up it's a lot easier if you haven't stitched the whole of this to the bottom and i'm going to try and show you what i mean so what i'm going to do is i'm going to you'll notice that this bit here is wider than your bottom because obviously you've just put your seams on so center it up as best you can so there's a little bit of overhang each side of your seam and clip it okay so it should be an equal amount either side of this seam that you've just done and then obviously this seam you've just done here as well i'm just going to move mine over slightly okay so i've done that so i've clipped it on and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sew along here, but I don't want to sew past where that seam is. So I'm going to have a little, two little bits that are not going to be sewn on. The easiest way to do this is to flip it over where your seam, seams are and sew in between this seam and this seam and stop. All right, don't sew past it. And then you'll make sure that you've left that little flip, flappy edge there. And honestly, when you go to turn turn it round to sew up the sides, you'll realise why, because it makes it a lot, lot easier. OK, so just between that seam and that seam, you're going to sew along using a quarter inch seam allowance. All right. So I'm back from sewing along here. You can see those little bits are not sewn there on the edges. And then I'm going to flip that over. And I'm going to do exactly the same with my other side piece and the other edge of this bottom remember your directional fabric if you've got it should be coming down that way so i'm going to line it up again so i should be looking at the pretty side of my bottom of my bag and the pretty side um, of my 
side panel should be face should be touching it okay so you should be looking at the wrong side of your side panel line it up so that it's about even either side again clip along this edge just like before do exactly the same again and then sew within that seam allowance where the seams are there sew along there again using a quarter inch seam allowance Okay, so I've sewn both my side pieces to the bottom and you can see that we're starting to form the main body of the backpack now. The next thing you're going to do is this long side edge, you're going to join up together with the long side edge of the main uh, front and back piece. Okay, so all your edges you're going to join. And this is why we left that little bit there because it's a lot easier to join it if you haven't sewn that bit together. All right. So we're going to match up the tops and just match up all this side seam together. Okay, just take your time, give it a little bit of a wriggle and clip it along. We're making it into like a box now. Um, so this is the lining, internal lining of the backpack. So we're just going to wriggle that bit down there like that, which is easier because that we left that little bit out. Give that a clip. Okay, and then, so I've joined those two pieces up. Hopefully you can see. We're starting to get this box shape. You see? So then I'm going to do exactly the same with this side piece. I'm going to join it up. Side of my main piece to the side of this. And then we're going to end up, can you see, like with a box shape, all right? So you're just going to do this with all of your seams. So all the long side edges of your sides need to be joined up with the long side edges of your front and back of your bag, backpack. I will keep calling it a bag because I just keep, seem to call everything I do a bag because I do so many bags. So I do apologise, but it is sort of bag, I suppose. Um, unlike some of the other things I make that I call a bag, but are not even a bag. That's the trouble when you do so many tutorials on different things. Right, okay, so I've clipped that one. I just want to show you clipping these. Now, you can sew each one before you go ahead and clip the others. All right, so you can do one side and then come back and clip another edge together and do it that way. I um, just want to show you it all clipped together because obviously you don't want to see me keep going and matching it up, clipping it, sewing it, coming back, doing it all for. You'll be bored. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like so that you can understand where you're going with this. And then you can... I'm going to sew mine in a moment. Okay, so it's the last clip. So if you can see, I've made, try and add it up a little bit more, like a box inside. See, this is the main inside part of the bag. So like I say, you can just clip along one edge and sew it and then go back and clip the others if you like. You don't have to do it all in one go like I did, but I wanted to show you because obviously we don't want to keep coming back and doing it. So I'm going to sew all these clipped edges I'm going to sew along here using a quarter inch seam allowance. All right, so all four of those edges, I'm going to sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. Okay? And I just want to say one little tip. Start sewing from the top downwards. All right, don't try and start from the bottom. So from the top edge, sew down each time. So I'm back from stitching um, all the sides together. I've created my box shape and this is the lining part completed and we can put this to one side for now. The next parts we're going to need are the pattern pieces are the um, pocket pieces. OK, so if you have made your pocket piece bigger, um, you need that piece laying face down pretty sides up. So your lining piece for your pocket not pretty sides down, wrong side down, pretty side facing up, so it's looking at you. And then take your other pocket piece, your outer fabric, and you're going to lay it pretty sides, touching pretty sides. So you should be looking at the wrong side of your fabric. And you're going to lay it along this top edge here. 
okay? And then I'm going to clip along here, like so. And then I'm gonna to go to the sewing machine and I'm gonna sew right the way along here and join these pieces together. Now, if your lining fabric has directional fabric, remember when you turn this out and flip it, that's what you're gonna be looking at. So if your fabric is directional, check that it's going the right way. Okay, because you don't want your fabric upside down. All right, so I'm going to go to the sewing machine. I'm going to sew using a quarter inch seam allowance right along here, and then I'll be back. So I'm back from sewing along this edge here, and now I'm going to flip my fabric out, turn it round, and what I want to do is line up the bottom edge with the bottom edge of my lining. Okay, so I'm just going to line it up like so, push it down, and as you can see, I've got that flash of lining fabric that you can see there. Now, if you want to have more detail with the lining fabric, just make your lining a little bit bigger. It doesn't matter, all right? So I've, I just wanted a little flash, which is why I've got half an inch showing at the top. Um, so if you add an extra inch, you will get half an inch flash. If you add an extra two inches, you'll get a whole inch worth of flash. So it's entirely up to you. So I'm going to line this up down the bottom, take it to the ironing board and give that a nice press along. OK, so I'm back from pressing with my iron. I'm just going to put that to one side just for a moment. We need to now take our one of our outer pieces of fabric. So the main, uh, this, this is the front panel piece. And we're going to lay our pocket on top of it. OK. So I'm going to kind of line my cats up, make sure they're lined up, roughly, along the bottom. Okay, and what we're going to do next is we're going to sew halfway across the pockets. This will give us two equal pocket compartments. If you want to have a smaller pocket, one side, and a larger pocket the other side, then just move your line. But for the purpose of this uh, tutorial, because on the pattern directions it tells you to do it in half, I'm going to follow that so nobody gets confused. So I need to make sure that I know where half is on my pocket. So I can line it up, uh, so I fold it in half, press down that line, and it gives me a nice crease edge, and I can just um, use that to sew down my pocket. So we're just going to start at the top here, back stitch a few stitches to secure, and sew right the way down. So you're joining, so you're, you're outer fabric is the right way up your pattern your pocket is the right way up just like it would look like on the bag and you're just going to back stitch so right the way down back stitch at the bottom and this will give us two um, pockets onto our bag so i'm back from um sewing halfway down so my, my, it's now joined to my outer fabric like so and all i'm going to do now is secure just along these edges here, and I'm gonna use um, like about an eighth of an inch seam allowance, because what I want to do is I don't want um, these stitches to show when I sew the main bag together. So as close to the edge as I can, I'm gonna sew down this side, along the bottom, and up this side, and that is just gonna secure this pocket on in place for when we um, are putting our bag together, okay? So down this side, along the bottom and up this side to here, as close to the edge as you can, all right? So now my uh, front pocket piece is secured to the front of my uh, bag piece of fabric. I've got each of my pockets in there like that. I'm gonna put this to one side because we don't need that part for a moment. The next part uh, pieces we're gonna use are the flap pieces. So this is the lining piece, and the outer fabric that you're using for your flat piece. So lay your lining piece down pretty sides facing up. Take your outer piece of fabric and lay it pretty sides facing down. So the pretty side of the fabric should be touching the pretty side of the fabric. And then we're just gonna clip around that edge. Oh, just line it up a little bit better. Like so, and clip along the bottom edge. Like 
on this side edge as well. And then I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew down just these clipped edges. OK, I'm not going to sew the top for the moment because I'm going to use that for turning the flap out. So you need to sew down this edge along the bottom and up the side. So I'm back from sewing down the sides and the bottom and I'm now going to I'm just going to clip off these um, corners. All right. Make sure you can do them at a diagonal. Make sure not to cut through your stitches. It just helps give it a sharper um, edge when you're turning. So then we're going to turn our flap right sides out. And we can see what we've done. Let's get my magic tool to help me to poke it out. Oops, look, don't do that what I just did, poke it right through. I'll have to sew that again to check. Just go back. Oh, dear. See, there you go. I've done something wrong on camera to show you that I do do things wrong. I'm not going to go back and redo that. Um, I'm just going to check it in a minute and restitch that. So when you've got it out like so, and it's in the right way, give it a nice press flat with the iron, and then you're going to top stitch down the sides that you've just sewn. So you leave this top flap open. You're gonna to top stitch down the side, along the bottom and up this side as well. So I'm back from top stitching the flap and this is my open edge here that's not sewn at all. Um, and it's still open. And I'm gonna take my back panel now, the large back panel. This is the one without the pocket on it. And I'm going to get my flat piece and I'm going to lay my flap so that my right side, the um, outside, outer fabric, so this is my lining, the outer fabric is touching the pretty side of the bag, the, the main outer fabric for the bag. And I'm going to use this raw edge here. I'm going to line it up with this raw edge here. Okay, and I'm going to centralise that. And I will measure it to double check before I sew it. So I'm just going to lay that on there and I'm going to put a couple of clips in. Just line it up with that top edge there. And I will check that the width there needs to be the same width as there. But I'll do that off camera because it's a little bit boring watching me do that. So apologies if it's a little bit out. Now you're going to take your webbing, your nylon webbing, and you need it. So this should be up one and a half metres long and you're going to cut it into two pieces. So you're going to cut it in half. All right, so you've got two equal size pieces. When you've done that, you're going to line your webbing up under your flap so that it sits, move that along, line it up with the top edge and just sit it underneath this flap. Okay, just like so, can you see? And then clip it. It's going to pull mine up slightly to make sure that I catch it when I sew it. And I'm going to clip that on there. So that's one piece. And then I'm going to take the other webbing piece. I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to put it underneath this flap piece here. Line it up with that top edge. And the edge of the flap. Oops, like so. A little bit fiddly. And then I'm going to clip that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to attach these uh, straps to the bottom section here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure in five centimetres or I will use two inches because I, wor I work in inches. But you need to measure in two centimetres, uh, sorry, five centimetres. I'll draw a little mark on mine so I know where I am. And then I'm going to line up the edge of my strap. So that's where my line is. I'm going to line it up this side of it and clip it. Like so. Make sure that this doesn't have a kink in it. Okay, because once this is on, it's on. 
and then do exactly the same with this so make sure it doesn't have a kink in it line it up with the marks you've just made clip there and then we're going to take it to the sewing machine and we're going to cut sew close to the edge of these parts so we're going to sew the strap on at the bottom here and here but close to the edge all right because this is going to be hidden in our seam allowance when we sew the bag together so close to the edge there close to the edge there and then along the top of the flap close to the edge there again making sure you catch those straps in that top part there all right so we've secured our flap and our straps to the back panel of our bag and the next piece that we're going to need is the bottom outer part of our bag okay so the bit that goes along the bottom here and what we're going to do is we're going to flip it so that it's right sides touching right sides and pin it along the bottom edge of the bag so the flap should be at the top this should be the bottom okay just make sure your straps are laying flat in there i'm going to clip along here like so and then we're going to take it to the sewing machine and we're going to sew along here using a quarter inch seam allowance make sure so there's my stitching for my strap i want to be this side of it when i sew it because i don't want to be seeing those stitch marks for my strap okay so you're going to sew right the way along this bottom edge so I'm back from um, stitching the bottom part of the outer part of the bag to the back part of my backpack. And I'm just going to move that out of the way and grab the piece with the pocket on. OK, so we're going to take the piece with the pocket on now. So this is the pocket here at the bottom. And then I'm going to attach this to this part. So I'm going to flip it over. So again, right sides of my fabric to right sides of my fabric. And I want the bottom of this bottom section, okay? And I'm going to clip it along this bottom edge of the front part of my backpack, okay? So this should be where the pocket is, lining up with the bottom here. All right, so I'm just going to open it up so you can see. So I've got my flap at the top there my pocket there, this is my back, this is my front, this is the bottom section. So it should be laying down like that. It's literally just as you sewed the lining piece at the beginning, but you've now got added little bit extra bits in there. But it's literally the same procedure as you sewed the lining piece. So we're just gonna clip that along and then we're gonna take it to the sewing machine and sew along this bottom edge again. Right, so I'm back from um, securing this bottom panel now to the, both the front part of uh, the main outer part of the bag and the back part. And this is the exact same thing as we were doing with the lining, okay? So if you get confused with all the pictures and patterns, um, just go back to the lining section part. But I'm going to go through this again with you how to do this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to attach our side panels just like we did before to these sides okay to the bottom sorry so the side panel the bottom edge of the side panel to the bottom the side of the bottom oh that's a lot of bottoms but you understand what i'm saying this is your bottom panel this is your side panel which is going to sit up like that so make sure you flip it that way and you're going to attach it here just like you did before and remember we're only going to sew up to that seam again all right, on both sides because it makes it easier when we sew up our sides so we're going to line this up and leave the same amount over both edges i'm just going to clip that like so and then i'm going to sew it along in between that seam there and that seam there all right so i should have a little bit left either side all right so i'm going to sew that one along that side make sure your fabric's the right way up and then while i'm here i'm going to clip the other one on as well so i don't have to come back and show you how because honestly 
it gets boring watching me all the time. So we're going to do exactly the same. So again, make sure that your fabric is going to end up going upwards if you've got directional fabric. So you're going to lay it down, centre it over that edge piece, give it a couple of clips. Take it to the machine and sew in between your two seams to fix it on. Okay, so do both that side and that side. So I'm back from sewing both my side panels onto the bottom section of the bag. And then we're going to do exactly the same as we did for the lining. We are going to sew all our sides together. So we're going to start to clip the side panel with the side part of the outer part of the bag. Okay, so you're just going to clip it on. And like where you left that little bit, it should help. With lining this up, I'm going to line it up down this side. I'm not going to do all of these because I've already shown you how to do this with the lining and it's no different. I'm going to line it up like so. So that's one side piece lined up and then we're going to line it up with the back as well so we're starting to form our box remember we've got straps and things now so you make sure when you sew these together that you don't end up um, catching your straps into your seam it's very easy to do okay so I've clipped this side together like so I just need to turn it round now. Oops. I know I'm doing this quickly, but it's only because I've shown you this bit already. I'm going to clip this side together as well. So we're going to make the box, boxy part of our bag. This is going to be the outer part. And once this bit's sewn together, we're really really rocking and rolling through this we won't be long before we get to the end you're doing brilliantly who thought you'd be able to do a backpack eh? okay so there it's the beauty of these patterns they're so lovely and easy they make them so nice and easy for us it means we can achieve anything okay so i have clipped together my um side panels and i'm going to go to the sewing machine and i'm going to sew up all four remember start from the top going down it's a lot easier you do not want to be doing it from the bottom top down top down top down top down so i'm back from sewing down all sides of um my bag i'm just going to turn it out now to show you so this is now the completed part of the outer part of our bag. I'm just going to push it out. So we've got our pockets on the front part there. We've got our flap that goes over and then our straps onto the back. So now I need to get my um, lining, your lining piece now that you've um, sewn together. And you need to make sure that your lining piece is right sides out so that it looks um, the right side of the bag of the lining is facing outwards. And then you need to make sure your bag has um, is inside out. OK, so this needs to be in the wrong way round. So you're going to take your lining piece, open it up and slot your bag inside out inside it. OK, push it in like this. And you're going to match up all your side seams together. Like so. And you're going to match up the top edge of these bag of these pieces and put some clips in. OK, so line up your seams, put your clip in. 
You're going to work your way right the way around the top of your bag, making sure your seams are lined up. I'm going to open my seams up in a minute, a little bit to clip mine. Um, but I'm just doing this just for quickness, just to show you how to do it. I'm going to clip it along here. Clip it along there. Okay, and then I'm just going to put a couple more clips in these top parts here. And I want to make sure that my bag is laying nice and flat against the other one. We don't want any extra bits. When you've done this, you're going to take it to the sewing machine and we're going to top stitch right the way around here or stitch around it using about a one centimetre um, seam allowance to just go right around the edge to connect these two bits of bag together. Okay, so I'm back from sewing my bag together. I've turned it the right way out. So I've now got my bag the right way out and you can start to see it looks like a backpack now with your handles on the back, very exciting. So the next thing we need is our draw string channel. Okay, now we need to check that it fits right the way around our bag and then we need to join these two pieces together because we make a circle. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that. Lay your fabric pretty side to pretty side and we're going to line it along this top edge. Now, it's not going to be stitched yet. We're going to take it off again in a minute, but do it as if you were stitching it. So take your time in clipping it right the way around the edge because we need to make sure this fits perfectly when we put it back on. Okay. So I'm just going to clip mine right the way around this side, like so, and then go back to this side here. I'm going to lay it, make sure it lays nice and flat. Clip these ones. there and we're nearly back to the beginning now so I'm going to put a clip I'm going to leave a little bit extra hanging there if, so that I don't um, fully clip it at the moment right so now I've got back to the beginning okay and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay my fabrics together let's see if I can show you how I'll do this and then the extra I want to collect together there, so I want it to meet up together. This is so difficult to do it on the camera. So I'm laying that bit down like that. I'm laying this bit down like that. And then meeting up together here, like so. All right. And I'm going to clip those bits. So you should be able to see now what I've done. So I've clipped right along the edge and then... I've got this bit here that's the extra bit, okay, from what I need. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to use this as my guide to sew down here, okay? So I've got this nice bit that's clipped and I've got my clips to the edge of where I need to sew. So I know I just need to sew down here, all right? And then that should fit nicely on my bag. So the only clips I should have to take off now are the ones around the top. Oops, if I take all of those off... I can take my channel off. I've now got my pieces clipped together and I know that the bottom of the clip is where I need to sew along, right the way along here to make this into one circle. Okay, so I'm just going to go do that. Ignore these bits. It's because I didn't have a big enough bit. Don't panic that you haven't got it on yours. I've just um, joined bits together to make my strip long enough. So I'm just going to go and sew right down here now. Okay, so I'm back from um, joining my fabric together and I've just ironed my seam out nice and flat. And the next part we need to do is fold this strip of fabric in half. So you want to make sure that you're putting wrong side to wrong side. So you should be looking at the pretty side of your fabric. Okay, you're just going to fold it in half and iron right the way 
along here, right the way around. Okay, so you're just going to go right the way around the whole strip, ironing it in half. And I'm just going to go and do that off camera and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I'm back from ironing the crease in my channel and I've opened it back out again. Okay, so it's opened out again. Um, grab your seam that you've sewn to join them together. Hold it in this hand and flatten this down. And then at this end, mark a crease with your fingers. And this will give you the halfway point of your channel. Now I have... I'm going to put grommets in mine. So I've gone ahead and inter put two bits of interfacing on the back of this because when I put my grommets in, I need them to be um, sturdy and strong. So you need a little bit of interfacing. So keep your scraps of interfacing because they're great for little things like this. So we're going to lay our fabric down. That's my halfway mark there. I work in inches, as you know, so two, uh, five centimetres is two inches. So if you're working in centimetres, um, you need to put your grommets five centimetres apart. If you're working in inches, that's two inches. So I've got my inch ruler here. I'm hoping you're going to be able to see. So this is my centre line here. This is my line for my um, halfway point for the bag that went all the way around. And just below that... I'm going to put my grommets, all right? So because um, I need them two inches apart, I've put my inch on that halfway mark of my channel. You, if you've working in centimetres, this needs to be two and a half centimetres here. And I'm going to put a dot at the zero on mine that side and a dot on the two this side, okay? That's where my interfacing is anyway. I've already made sure that that's on there. If you haven't, put your interfacing on now. Um, you know, if you haven't put it on already and you want to like, put your interfacing on now. You can obviously put buttons, uh, buttonholes in if you want to as well. Um, I'm just going to make sure mine's straight, actually. It's not going to be straight. Um, I can put buttonholes in there as well. So if you don't want to use grommets. Now, I haven't, uh, I'm not going to show you how to put the grommets on. They are easy. There's lots of YouTube channels, um, videos to do that. I might pop, pop a quick one um, in the guide section anyway at some point. But um, yeah, follow the guide section, uh, follow the tutorial on YouTube or the instructions you get with your grommet. They're really easy. If you can put the dog poo bag ones in, you can put these in. They're not much more tricky. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and put my two grommets in here. My fabric is not folded. Just to remind you, it's flat out. OK. OK, so I've fixed the grommets into my channel. Now I need to get my bag. And we are going to start to fix our channel onto our bag. Now, the first thing we need to do is find the at the front of our bag. We need the halfway point because we want to make sure that these grommets are centralised in there. So if we match up our side seams. Like so, OK, so this is my side seam and side seam. And then flatten here. So flatten it down and then just give a press there. That should give you your halfway mark at the front of your bag, like so. All right. So we know where our halfway mark is. So then we're going to take our channel and we've got our grommets and we need to make sure that the halfway point in between our grommets matches up to the halfway mark we've just made on our bag. You can put a pen on there if you like. I can see my crease, so I don't need to. So there is my halfway um, point on my bag. This is my halfway between my grommets, and I'm just going to match that up, okay? So I have got on here the right side of my fabric touching the right side of the lining, okay? This is the front of the bag with the pocket on. I'm attaching it to the lining section and the grommets are at the bottom, okay? So it's on the bottom section. You do not want to have your grommets up here. So once you've found that halfway mark, you're going to go around your bag with your channel because you've now sewn it into that loop. By the way, when you do this, if you get right the way round and you've still got an extra little bit of fabric, because it can happen, because it is tricky to try and make sure it's exact, 
then don't panic. All right, so say I had a little bit extra left over like that. Just go back to the sewing machine where you've done your seam and just make your seam slightly um, bigger. All right, and just keep doing that just gradually until it fits round. It's absolutely fine. Don't panic. It's really hard to get it right on the first time. And you really need to make sure your bag is laying nice and flat when you do this. So mine might not quite be right. I'll have to go off camera in a minute anyway. Um, and check this because obviously it's not as easy to do when I'm trying to do it on the camera to get it all lined up perfectly. So you're literally going to line it right the way around your bag like that. Right the way around. Once you've completed that, you're going to go and sew around this edge using about a half a centimetre seam allowance right the way around, okay? Right the way around this edge. Okay, so put all your channel round, clip it all round like so. So right the way around using um, a half a centimetre seam allowance. Okay, so I've sewn at the drawstring channel using um, a half a centimetre seam allowance around the edge like that. And what we're going to do now is we're going to, on the other raw edge that's showing of our drawstring channel, we are going to make a little hem. Okay, just a little hem, just turn it over like so, and you're going to make a little hem right the way round. So you just need to iron right the way round, just turn that over. I suppose it's about half a centimetre. Okay, you can get the guide because obviously you don't want it to be... Um, you want to make sure your grommets are not in there, okay? So just turn it over a little bit like that and then iron right the way round um, your hem into place. I'm just going to do that off camera and then I'll be back. So I have ironed my little hem over and then the line, the iron line that we did, so we went, when we made this, um, we ironed this in half to begin with, that is now going to be your guide okay, for how you're going to fold it over, all right, so we did a half, when we, right at the beginning, we um, ironed this half, in half, didn't we, this long strip, so that now should be your guide for flipping over, all right, so that's where you're going to turn it, and you're going to flip it over there, and then with that hem folded in, bring it down, show you, so that's my halfway iron mark, my hem is folded in, I've folded it over on that halfway, fold my hem in, and then I'm going to pin it to my bag, like so, okay? And it encases all of those raw edges. I'm just going to pin that into place. I'm going to carry on right the way around the bag, doing exactly the same. So folding it on that half bit, it should just sit quite nicely when you're doing this. And then just pin it. You're going to pin right the way around the bag, okay? So that should be that side where you've encased it already. So that's just a pin there, don't worry. And then this side should now have that hem inside on that fold line and make a nice channel all the way around the top of your bag. When you've done this, you're going to go and stitch this around. Now, obviously, don't make sure you leave holes for your grommet. By the way, if you want to put your drawstring in before you do this, under here, you can. If you don't like threading it through, you can stick it in now. Just make sure if you do that, though, that you keep it. If I just grab my drawstring... So if I didn't want to wait until um, I've completed it to thread my drawstring through, I could, if I just put that in there, through there like that, I could put my drawstring in now, tuck it in under my pins like so, so that it's already in there. Okay, well, if you do that, make sure you keep it right to this edge though. I mean, it might be worth putting a clip in around this edge just to hold that drawstring in place so that it doesn't, you don't end up sewing it in because you don't want to end up sewing in your drawstring because you'll be upset because you'll have to unpick it all again. If you don't want to put your drawstring in at this point, then don't leave it out and you can thread it through later. 
um, like at the end of this, when you've done this part, it's entirely up to you. OK, so whichever way you're doing, pin this all the way around, making sure your hem is folded in, sitting on this crease line here and then stitch right the way along this edge, right the way around your backpack. So I've finished sewing around my channel. All that's left to do now is to put my toggle on my drawstrings through, cut your drawstrings if you need to, and then retape them at the ends if you've done like I've done, like so. And there we go. There is your completed backpack. Well done.